What's going on, everyone? It's Adam here from Adam's Nintendo World, and we're checking out Deadcraft, uh, upcoming game from Xseed and Marvelous. You know we've been playing Rune Factory 5. So, from the same teams that brought you Rune Factory 5, there's a demo for Deadcraft on Nintendo Switch. I believe this game is coming out in May 2022, but you can hop online now and get the Deadcraft demo. We're going to go new game. We're going to play the demo and just give it a quick look. I don't know how long we'll be here, but uh, we'll see. Welcome to Digcraft. Woohoo! Is that it? Is that just the whole screen? In the year <laughs> 20XX, a hail of meteors bombarded Earth. Flames and dust choked the planet, blocking out the sun. Okay, some kind of disaster. Vegetation, reducing the world but more to, to come, harsh, more to come. Barren wasteland. But that was not the only disaster that awaited humanity. Hidden within the fallen meteors was a mysterious virus. Okay, zombies come back from the grave. I got it. Resurrected them. <laughs> zombies. zombies. Zombies, zombies, zombies. Mindless, Mindless creatures, creatures who would then turn and attack the living. And of course they the would. Living. That's what zombies do. Any. Who fell to them would become zombies themselves. No, it's spread across the globe. Oh no. Before the Ziv pandemic it's like The Walking Dead, but Dead Craft by Exceed and Marvelous. <laughs> oh my goodness. Wow, the lots of story to go on here, guys. Humanity was on its Humanity last on its legs. Last legs. The new law of the land thinks survival at all costs. Hmm. Planet had precious few you know what? This does fit The Walking Dead, though, right? After a while, after you start watching The Walking Dead for a while, you realize it's not really the zombies that pose the problem. It's other people. It's other people that are the problem in the apocalypse, not the zombies. <laughs> All right, I think we're about to start the demo. I have no idea how long this demo is, um, but, you know, we'll check it out. We're playing on Nintendo Switch, by the way, in case you didn't know. Assume you do. Excited. Drops of blood. Looks okay. Oh, jeez. What the? What is going on? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Uh, is that us? Minimal storytelling. It's all through the actions, apparently. Interesting stuff. Hmm. <laughs> no, we're going towards the light. Oh, that's so creepy. <laughs> All right, looks like we've been saved a few days later. All right. And I'm being chased by something, aren't I? I think this is a top down kind of game. There's crafting, though, and stuff like that. I'm interested to see what it's about. I'm not huge into zombie games, but... It's a very weird start. It's a very weird start. We get captured, and then uh, presumably someone saves us and heals us, and then we were running away, and now we're laying on a board. That was a board before. Fuck you, Nebron. Oh, language. Get away with this. Uh, okay, so apparently there's going to be some, some language in this, so just prepping you for that. <laughs> All right, you won't get away with this. Uh, no matter what it takes, you're going to pay. Okay. You're gonna pay. You're gonna pay. We won't say the words. You could have read it. All right, weapons maybe. Is it like a mutant arm we have? Do we have a mutant arm? All right. Well, I escaped, but lost all my weapons. Never expected to get my arse kicked so hard. Better rearm and stock before I try heading back out. Please look. Uh, place looks abandoned. Well, I could use a spot to hunker down. Wonder if there's anything worth keeping in all this junk. All right. Welcome to the world of Deadcraft. You can play. 
up to partway through chapter one in the demo. The story, the storage shed contains some useful crafting items that you can use. All right, um, we'll collect that. We obtained rotten rat meat and an ax. That's where we can save. This ax is still here though. Oh, oh, I see. It's telling me to collect rotten rat meat and an ax. Not that I did. Okay, there we go. So we've got the ax and the meat. Darn it, I'm starving. Gotta eat. Maybe this dead rat I grabbed will tide me over. Beggars can't be choosers. Down the hatch. That's gross. All right, eat the rotten meat. That's disgusting. What's on the bookshelf? Can't perform this action. Um. Okay. Uh, <laughs> we can't do that, so let's open our inventory. And let's scroll down here. So right now we have Heaven's Blessing, which is a mysterious drug uh, making rounds through the Ark. Sludge. <laughs> Aqua Cola. Uh, flimsy Wood. We got an axe. And our rat meat, which I'm going to hover over and uh, confirm. Eat. Ugh. <laughs> ugh, ugh, ugh. Shoot. It's gone bad. Should have cooked it first. Well, yeah, duh. These gauges represent your condition. Letting any of them fall to zero will cause you, cause you to collapse. Your food and water gauges deplete over time. Okay, so we're playing a little bit of a survival game. Interesting stuff here. Uh, your food and water gauges deplete over time while your energy drains by performing a variety of actions. If any of them drops to zeros, it could spell death. Eating recovers your food gauge. Drinking recovers your water gauge. And resting in bed recovers your energy. The higher your food and water gauges are when you rest, the more health you recover. Okay. All right, at least I've got something I can pass for a weapon. Better check the area outside. Ah, before that may not be bad, I need to write all this down first. All right, so we're going to go save. Check the notebook so we can just save the game. Boom. Yes, please. Saving. Oh, man. Okay, it's been a weird uh, seven minutes so far. All right, so you can kind of see in the mini-map the bed, the save, and the bookcase, which... Okay, here, how to play, survival tips, notebook. Okay, cool. So that's where we can find all the information. Um, before we go outside... How do I open the menu? There we go. Can we, like, equip this axe or something? Equip the slot one. There we go. All right. So I've got the axe. So right trigger attacks. And that's it. I was like, maybe there's, like, a, a secondary attack. But it looks like there's just that primary attack. At least for now. With the axe. All right. We're heading outside. See what we can find. See what we can do. Okay, dang it. Fell further than I thought. Better find a way back up. All right. All these shining things we can apparently collect. That was some sludge and stuff. Looks like I can not I can get up from here. Uh, but some crap's blocking the path. Let's see if I the axe I found can handle it. We've already done this. But press the plus button to open the menu. Choose a weapon or tool to equip it. There are two slots in total, so make sure to assign something to each. A weapon or tool already equipped to a slot will swap out with the new assigned one. First, select the item you want to equip from your inventory. There's only one item slot. Once the item is equipped, press Y to use it. It takes two steps to equip weapons, but only one for items. Two steps to equip weapons, but only one for items. The steps change depending on if you want to equip a weapon or an item. All right, well, we have our axe. Um, so let's collect up this stuff. That was more rats. Boom. Okay, I want to keep looking around this area really quickly, though. Can I hit anything? Like, what's this? Oh, collect. Okay, and what's this? Collect. That's more sludge. We don't really know. This is going to be a crafting table. Interesting. Anything over here? Maybe we should check out this crafting table. I'm sure there's nothing we can do yet, but let's check it out. Could be useful for crafting. That's all it says. All right, doesn't want me to use the crafting table. Take this. Let's knock what's this the down. There we go. Okay. Oh, a little bit more story here. I love that it just says dead. <laughs> okay, I have to get back inside the city. Nebron will pay for what he's done, I swear it. Going through the front is a no-go. Better look for a back entrance or something. Some new gear would be good, too. think I remember some slums being around here somewhere. I'll start there. All right, so we get kind of a, a larger open world. I'm guessing I can kill this rat. Like this. Take this. How many hits for a rat? Okay. And we got some rat meat. It's not rotten, though. But we should still probably try to cook it. 
Uh, what does the blue mean? Okay, blue are people on the map. So you can see the blue there. Let's kill this rat. No, let's not. I don't want to chase rats. Let's talk to these people. See if they give you anything interesting. Oh. Shh. Keep your voice down. There's zombies nearby. You better be sure you're all set to go out before heading out unless you want to be ziver chow. Your guard drops once and they'll be all over you. All right. Thanks for that tip. We're searching for the entrance to the slums right now. Here's something I can collect and something more I can collect. What's this guy got to say? Yo. Hey, you're heading to the slums? It's down that way. Can't miss it. Just take care not to get turned into a zombie before you get there. Before I get there? Uh-oh. You know what that means. There are some zombies coming up that I'm going to want to deal with. Oh. Uh -huh. Haven't seen you around before. If you don't want to end up a fresh ziver, give us all your stuff. We've got nothing worth taking unless you're collecting trash. That's why you got those dumb arses, thing, dumb arse things on your head. Shut your hole. You mess with the bockers and we'll arrange your organs, punk. Your stuff or your life, your choice. Ah, oh, fine. No skid off my back to kill you. Ha! Butthead's got a mouth on him. Don't come crying to us to spare you later. Okay. Press R. Uh, ZR repeatedly to deliver consecutive attacks. To help your attacks connect, press R to lock onto an enemy. Press B to roll and evade enemy attacks. It's a zombie world out there, and the only way to survive is knowing how to fight. Okay. So we're just going to go at these guys. Like, I think if I hit them all at once, I can maybe do a little bit of damage. Am I going to get some uh, armor here too, though? Like, maybe these guys are going to drop some armor. Oh, that's a finish right there. I like that. Kind of went into a little cinematic mode. Although I can see that getting annoying after a while. All right, Bockers are annoying as shoot to deal with. Noted. All right, so these guys dropped some good stuff, right? We got some scrap metal, a battery. What else did we get from that? Not bad. We'll collect the rat meat. Um, what's that? Some more stuff here. Oh, I can break that apart. Interesting. We got some more flimsy wood. Um, that's more rat meat. Can I look in this? What am I collecting? Oh, more rat meat. Okay, cool. All right, let's keep moving. There's somebody here we can talk to. What's going on, pal? Uh, I hate always having to live in fear of these stupid zombies. I swear one day I'll make it to the other side of those walls. All right, so what I'm learning is that there's going to be some zombies up ahead. Like, there's everybody's alluding to it, so it must be happening. Okay, so where are we going to go from here? Are we just kind of going all over the place? This is a dead end, but maybe there's some stuff here I can get. How do I get Oh, I got to smash this. What's the matter? All right, iron ore. That's probably going to be good for crafting something later. Another rat. Anything else over here? If it's shiny, you can either search it or destroy it. So that's what you're looking for. Can I run? Oh, you can run. Okay, I click in the stick and I run. Interesting. That'll be helpful. There's a yellow or a white or yellow circle there. I'm guessing that's where I want to go. But let's finish this rat off. I don't know how much... Can we ever have too much rat meat? Uh, let's go this way. Probably a couple more dead ends, but we can at least see what's here. If we're going to get a demo, we might as well explore it. Uh, flimsy wood. Nothing crazy. Ooh, some more iron ore. That might be good later. Oh, we got iron ore and redstone. I do not know what redstone does, but we'll take it. A couple more rats. I don't know how much rat meat I need. I possibly don't need this much. All right, come back here, you stupid rat. There we go. All right, let's grab that. And then let's go this way. We'll check this out for a second. And then we'll make a decision on what we're going to do. Uh, this is just a rat, but there's more iron ore over here. Come here. What's the matter? The axe is very slow. I hope I get a faster weapon sometime. Ooh, there's some red dots over here. Let's see what that is. I saw them on the map when I was circling the corner. I'm going to guess some zombies. Get ready. I'm going to guess there's some zombies over here. No oh, mercy. no. These might be... I don't know what the zombie is. I don't know if these are zombies or if they're like uh, some more of those stupid gang members or whatever. What's the matter? Like, I don't really know what I just killed. I got some iron ore, some rat meat, sludge, and batteries. 
All right. Um, cool. Let's run. Let's run to wherever that yellow dot is. I think that's where we go to get to the slums. This way. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Um. Let's knock this down. Thank you very much. Anything over here? Just a rat. All right, let's head here. Something's going on here. Here's the slums. Let's see if we can get in. Hey, you. You ain't getting through. Go back the way you came. Uh, hey, you ain't getting through here. Get back your way you came. Real welcome, I see. Come on, I just got down on. I just, I'm just a down on his luck wanderer looking for a meal. Sure, you can't really let me in. I don't really give a damn who you are. No outsiders allowed. Scram. Yo, what's going on over here? They might be uh, reading it. I'm just trying to overread it so I don't have to read all the swear words and get a lower ranking on my YouTube video. <laughs> who are you? Fresh face, huh? Oh, a fresh face, huh? Trying to get into town. I'm sorry to say this is not going to be easy, as you don't mind, do you? Oh, well. So let's open the gates for you. Come I right in. I wasn't planning on staying long. Got some important business to t take care of in the city. I'm gone as soon as it's done, but I'll need access to the slums is until then. So? Is that so? Well, I'm not sure I got your reason, but I'm afraid we can't just be letting people in willy-nilly with the world being the way it is. You get where I'm coming from, right? Not even for a zombie. Not even for a zombie hunter? I'll be sure to earn my keep if you let me zombie. in. Zombie hunter, huh? That changes things. Well, let's see. How about doing a little favor God, for so me? We've got someone who left who left to run an errand outside of town and still hasn't returned. Think you could find him and give him a helping hand back home? Call we'll call him Zombie Gramps. He's a researcher. He's uh, a little quirky, so you can't miss Prove him. Yourself a Prove yourself a capable zombie hunter in this town. will likely welcome you with open arms, if that's what you want. Go through with it or not your choice. Yeah, yeah, yeah I get it. I'll just think of it as another gig. Ah. ah, glad to hear it. Name's Vernon. I guess you could say folks look to me for things around here. What's your name, amigo? Call me Reed, and I'm only here because of a job. All right, counting on you, Reed. Oh, I heard you say you were hungry. Here, on the house. All right, we got some food. I'm happy. Okay, so we got to the slums complete. Who's that geezer? Do we need to talk to this guy? Does he have something to say? Gotcha. Uh, like I said, you can pick up the geezer out of the crowd from a while, mile away. He probably hasn't even made it that far, knowing him. Anyways, those rats will work like rations where you feel peckish. Good luck to you. All right, so nothing that important. All right, so we're heading this way. Let's collect some more sludge. Oh, wait, I can't get through here? Um, nope, apparently not. Okay, so we gotta go around. And there are... I don't know, again, I don't. I can't tell yet if these are zombies. These are zombies. I can tell that these are zombies. So those other things we killed must have not have been zombies. Nice. <laughs> Alright, let's collect this. Here they come. Oh no! What happens when you get hit by zombies in this game? I mean, we'll maybe find out. This axe is not doing a very good job. Though. My water is really low? Alright, well let's see if we can do something about my water being really low. Um, so we press start. Or do any of these? So this is a negative. Oh, this gives me 10 water, but negative 5 health. This gives me 20 water. So we're going to confirm and we are going to drink. 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 And now that bar is full, right? So there we go. Can I still drink? Oh, I can. I don't know what that's doing. All right. And then um, this will give me 10 food. So let's eat. I think you slowly lose if your bar is empty, right? And maybe you gain if your bar is full. As you can see, my bar for health for food is uh, negative. Oh, there's hunger, water, health, electricity. Okay. So I filled up my meter. But what's this electricity thing? I think I missed that. Whatever. We'll figure it out over time. All right. Uh, we're going this way. Here's someone we can chat with. Oh, we have to oh. chat with them. Hey, this is your first apocalypse. Name's Max, and it looks like you could use some help. Let me give you a few pointers on how to survive out there. First things first, check out that green bar on the top left corner of the screen. That's your energy gauge. 
you're going to be looking at this a lot so as it lets you know how much stuff you can do. Whatever, whenever you perform an action, the bar is going to decrease bit by bit. You do not want that bar to go empty on you. Let me tell you, sure, you can still run a fight and all that, but your HP will drain instead. Lose all your HP and rip. It's game over. Make sure to keep an eye out on your energy while you're out taking care of crap. You can recover your energy by sleeping in bed back at your base. There are items that recover energy too, but for the most part, you'll need to rest to get your energy back. Oh, and heads up. Pay attention to the levels on your food and water gauges before hitting the sack. Sleeping will replenish your HP and energy, but how much you get back depends on how full your body and water gauges are. Can't really get a good night's rest if you're starving and dying of thirst, right? Anyway, that's all I got for now. Have fun and enjoy the apocalypse. <laughs> okay, so what we need to do is we need to go to bed because that's our energy gauge. That, um, that thing. Can you fast travel? Let's open the map and see if we can fast travel. To home base. I cannot fast travel. So we just have to run there. But we need to sleep. It's also late. It's 18.50 at night. Uh, which means it's, uh... <laughs> Why is my math so terrible? Um, 6.50. There we go. That took way too long. It's 650. So we're going to head back to our little uh, our little thing here, our shindig. Enter. And we're going to take a little nap. We filled up our food and water gauges. So we should get a decent amount of energy back. What should I do? Sleep until morning. Yes. There we go. Get Let's get some energy back. Time to get going all right, there we go. We are full energy. So now we kind of have a better understanding of the bars, what they mean, what they do. Um, and so now let's uh, let's gather up some more resources. What's this? I can ooh, I can till the soil and plant. Good to know. Let's grab some more sludge. I mean, ideally, I'm not drinking the sludge, uh, but I guess in a pinch, I will. All right, we're heading back. Going to find the old man. I, don't, I have no idea how long this this demo lasts. All right, where are we going? Where are we going? Do I need to hit this? I forget what was here last time. Just some flimsy boards. All right, I'm gonna stop collecting resources because I have a feeling that we can get we can get plenty of resources if we need them. Oh, jeez. Okay, if I've learned anything from these kind of games, it's like, uh, if you don't need to fight something, don't. Just run away. They're not going to chase you forever. We're done here. All right, here he is. Let's talk to the old man, the old geezer, old gramps. Hey, you there. You're the one they call zombie gramps. Hey, you there. They call, you're the one they call okay. zombie gramps. Who the heck are you supposed to be, boyo? Can't you see I'm busy gathering reserver meat for my research? I Shoot! I just came from the slums. Vernon sent me to find you. You do know this place is crawling with zombies, right? We need to leave. Yeah, you think I don't know all that already know that? I'm simply occupying myself while waiting for my chance to escape. Hmph. Huh. Wait, did you say Vernon? He asked me to bring you back. Why must he keep poking his nose into my business? But since you're already here, I suppose I'll give you, you I'll let you give me a hand. Okay. With what? What are we doing? You are a creepy old dude, aren't you? I'm going to have to kill some what stuff. Uh, our way back to town is going to be rife with zombies, so you may better make sure to keep them off me. Ready to skedaddle? Let's go. Okay. So, it's like a protect mission. Now that I think about it, you don't look familiar. Lived in the slums long. Just got here today. Bringing you back is my ticket or in, or so says Vernon. Well, that explains it. The only thing I care about is getting my hands on zombie flesh after you finish bashing them all to pieces. Hold on. Up closer. Look at this. Look. Is that arm what I think it is? Here. Here. Here they come. You better keep me safe, boyo. All right, here we go. No mercy. Get ready. Oh boy. Okay. I need to play this right. No, oh, get away from him. Get away from him. Get away. You bad zombies, you. Stay back. I'm wielding this axe over top this guy. 100% murdering him at the same time. Ah, zipper chunks for days. I've hit the jackpot. Yeah, you have. I knew it. The red arm in your face. You were born with it, weren't you? Yeah, it's been a way as long as I can remember, but hallelujah. Never my wildest dreams. I expect to ever get to meet a half. Half? Half zombie. Details are best left for when we return to the slums, but short answer, they've got human and zombie blood running through their veins since birth. 
With their blood, with their bodies changed on a molecular level, they can accomplish feats both humans and zombies can only dream of. Okay, so we're a half, whatever that means. More of an incoming. You better protect me, boyo. Oh, I will. Oh, get off! Get off, my boy! Oh, Jesus, this is not going well. At least I don't think it's going well. I don't know how much health this guy has, but I feel like he's gonna die. I feel like I'm gonna die. Oh boy, we can't die in the demo, can we? Wouldn't that be embarrassing? <laughs> I still can't believe it. An actual half zombie. Yeah, yeah. If you truly are half zombie, then you'll be able to make that left arm of yours transform. Yeah, I've been using it as a makeshift weapon ever since I was a kid. Just as I thought, whatever parts of what you're the most exposed to the virus while you're in your mother's wombs change color. In your case, that includes your left arm. Don't really use it much. If I do too many times, I usually can't move afar. I had hazard a guess to say that because you used up too much of your zombie powers, this causes your body to weaken in response. Here can come more. Why don't we put that arm of yours to the test? Okay. Press L to use undead shield to block enemy attacks. Press L plus A for a huge amount of damage with a bug crush. Master your half zombie powers can give you an edge in battle. Okay. Well, let's give this a go then. Here it comes. Bring it. Ready for this. Whoa, okay, we gotta use that to get this this thing um, done. How much can I use this power? Oh, my zombie power is too low for a special attack. Alright, well then we just gotta axe these guys. Kill them! Get off my boy! Oh, you're not dead yet. <laughs> there we go. Alright! <laughs> Excellent, you're most definitely a half zombie, Boyle. I've already theorized they could exist, but there you are, in the what flesh. The hell? What? So you just made it up? I did not just make it up. My research led me to believe they exist, and you're living, breathing proof that I was correct. With you now in front of me, there's a sort of experiments to be done. To think I got the chance to study a genuine half up close. Fine. I didn't say anything about, ah, whatever. <laughs> Alright, are we off? Gotta collect up all the stuff, Zed hearts and stuff like that. Alright, I think we're done. Let's go talk to Vernon. I think this is voice acted, maybe? Like I said, I always play without the voices, so I never really know. Glad to see you're still kicking there, Gramps. As much as I'd like to tell you to stick it where the sun don't shine, it looks like I owe you one this time. Not only did the pipsqueak save my arse, he's a half zombie. My chance to study one has finally come. Wait, this guy's one of those things you're going on about? Indeed, in the flesh. If a mother finds herself exposed to the virus while pregnant, there's a chance it can spread to the baby inside her as well. Most times, they end up zombified in the womb and eat their way out killing the mother after that well once people find out they don't last long if you get my meaning now if you're born before the virus can reach their brain it's a different story they become a being that exists both a human and a zombie a half zombie not gonna lie i have no clue what you're going on about but i'll be damned they actually exist all right thanks for bringing this guy back as promised you've got free reign to come and go as you please glad to welcome a capable zombie hunter to our humble town there's plenty of problems here that need fixing and juggling all of my own uh, and juggling all of it on my own has given me more than a few gray hairs. But now that you're here, I can rest easy. <laughs> Looking forward to working with you, my half sorry compadre. This was supposed to be only a pit stop on my way into the city. <sighs> well, we're stuck here now. Gates are opened, and we can go inside. Cool, we're checking out the city. Fancy meeting you again. Welcome to the slums, my friend. This place is getting a little rough, so celebrate your arrival. I'll give you more tips on how to hold your own. Lesson number one, you're going to want to keep an eye out for your wanted level. The slums are basically a town, and any town's going to have people ready to keep the peace. You keep doing bad stuff over and over, and they're going to slap you with a wanted level. If it gets too high, the guys will try to put a stop to the problem by killing you. They won't be able to shake them until your wanted level disappears. Killing people left and right because you want items will only end in regret, sooner or later. Your wanted level should go down by itself over time, as long as you keep your head down and wait for things to cool off. If it doesn't decrease very quickly, it doesn't decrease very quickly, so if you want to avoid a fight, it's the best way not to raise your wanted level in the first place. Lesson number two, the importance of a well-placed threat. There's an item you're looking for, someone around here might have it, and one way to get it is to shake them down for it. Your wanted level will still is still going to go up, but at least it won't be as bad as you, you murdering them in cold blood. But if your target's a tough guy, they won't take threats lightly. Times, likely, times like that, you can try weakening them, weakening them until you can knock them down, then you should have a better shot at swiping something from them. This may not come as a surprise, but we've got Bokkers causing all sorts of trouble around the slums lately. Go ahead and kill those guys all you'd like. Your wanted level won't budge an inch. If you ever feel like going on a murder spree, then the Bokkers are the way to go. That should be everything you need to survive here. Now go out and live life how you want it, and don't forget to have fun and enjoy the apocalypse. 
enjoy the apocalypse. The world's a mess without hum uh, but humanity is still trying to keep the peace when possible. Attacking, shaking down, or stealing from people will cause your wanted level to go up and mark you as a wanted man. The higher your wanted level, the more people will flee the ark and soldiers will become more aggressive. Your wanted level will lower as time passes. Okay, so we're allowed to kind of have a little bit of a free reign here. This is a quest, maybe? Let's give this guy chatting to. Is this Vernon? Well, if it ain't Mr. Half Zombie, gotten the hang of things around here yet? Well, I just got here, so no, not really. Ah, well, I'm sure you'll pick it up quickly. Plenty of people around here looking for a helping hand, so be friendly and chat some of them up when you can. Speaking of help, you wouldn't happen to have three roasted rats on you, would you? It's just that there's some hungry munchkins in town who I'd really like to see get something in their bellies. I don't, and I don't have a way to cook them even if I felt like it. Don't go pushing that sort of job on Got me it. either. Now, 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 it's all help you too. Plus, it's not like you can head inside the city right this second, what? right? Food's probably high on your list while you're here, and I'm guessing you don't want to find out that kind of havoc a rotten rat meat diet can do on your stomach. You have a point, I guess. Reality being what it is, fire is essential for survival. Even rotten foodstuffs tossed into a flame will become palatable enough to choke down. So how about making a fire pit? I'll even show you how it's done. Fine, whatever. What is it that you want me to do exactly? All right, we're going to learn crafting. Select the skill you wish to learn from the skills page. After learning a skill, go to the crafting table, open the craft menu to view it. Assess the skills page by pressing plus to display your inventory, then press ZR to move to the skills page. Survival points are used in exchange for learning new skills. SP can be earned through collecting items or defeating enemies. This harsh world necessitates learning skills to survive, and to do that you need to save up survival points. Once crafted, placeables can be put wherever you want. They can be moved indefinitely, so keep messing around with them until you're satisfied. Okay, cool. So let's go over to the... Uh, Alright, so before we get making that fire pit, you got to learn the proper skill for it first. Go ahead and use ZLZR to get yourself to the skills page. Alright, uh, skills. So at the skills page, you can use L to move the cursor around. Go on, select the novice cook, since that's what you'll need for the craft in a fire pit. Okay, that's this one right here that's blinking. Now hit the learn button. Learn. The following skill will be learned and processed. Okay, so we're going to use up a lot of all of our SP. And that's that. Now you can craft a fire pit. You'll need survival points if you want to learn more skills. You get SP from doing stuff like gathering items and beating up enemies. Things you do every day anyways. Good. Okay. I spotted you you the SP this time, but you're on your own from now on, amigo. Next step is to check out what you need to get the fire pit put together. To put together. Use X to display the info for the fire pit, then press A. X. Okay. X. We need... Details. Okay, we need flimsy wood, too, and a torch. Simple campfire useful for cooking and crafting. Okay, once you've done reviewing what you need, press B to close the screen. I need a torch. Where do I get a torch from? All right, close. And there you have it. You should be everything you need to learn new skills. All right, thanks, Vernon. Here, I'll give you the torch you'll need for this out of, good, out of the goodness of my heart. Once you've got a good fire going, kindly cook up three roasted rats for me. Uh, sure, just don't come whining to me if it tastes like crap. Edible is all I'm asking for. Bring them here and I'll give you a little something for your trouble. Make sure you got your three pieces of rat meat before you head back to your base and build a fire pit. I've got lots of rat meat. Okay, so we can hang out here. Is there anywhere else? Like anybody else here? Collect. Is that stealing? Hair strands and a rag. I don't want to steal from people. Shake down? I'm not going to shake anybody down yet. Um... So that person doesn't have a quest. If it has like a little yellow thing, then it's a quest, right? Try knock. Oh, we can try shaking someone down. We can give that a go. I don't know. Oh. Okay, bash this to pieces. Alright, so you can see I'm getting a little bit of SP every time we do something. Should I try shaking someone down, or is that a bit much right now? Bash up this old car. What's the matter? Uh, battery is not bad. All right, let's uh, let's roam around town a little bit. Hey. Time out. 
All right, let's hit the crafting table. We're gonna craft an item. Um, I don't want an ammo, I don't need that. I don't need placeables, I need utilities. Craft, yes. All right, now that we have a fire pit, I can just place it, let's set it right there. Has a lot of these little like load menus and stuff, eh? Interesting enough. Wait, it's showing me crap. Uh, maybe this is just a one-time thing. I don't know why it's showing me crafting. I was already right. carrying around the fire pit. Okay, fire pit. Awesome. <laughs> All right, we're out of here. So let's go to the fire pit, and we're gonna go press A. We're gonna go craft an item at the fire pit, and we're gonna have uh, roasted rats. Not enough materials. I could have sworn I had a lot of rat. What do I need for the quest? Um, missions. Oh, I didn't finish. Oh, I'm so... <laughs> he even said, make sure you have all the rat meat. Make sure you've got your meat that you need to do this. Well, I don't. I thought I did. I've killed so many rats. What happened to all the meat I had? The only thing I can think is that maybe the meat goes bad. Take this. But that's weird. But there's rat meat number one. I really want to avoid all these zombies if I can. I don't want to get into a pissing match with a bunch of zombies. Although maybe I'm going to have to. Our energy is so low. Um, I just want some rat meat, man. I mean, in a group of two, I can take out these zombies. No problem. It's just up here. There's a lot of them. And I just need... Some, there's a rat. No, come back. This is going to be rotten rat meat, isn't it? Just collect, man. It's not that difficult. Rotten rat meat. Okay. I need this rat to come back. No, I don't want to fight you. I just want this rat. Take this. Alright, give me the rat meat. And we're, our energy is way too low. We're losing health. We gotta go back. Unfortunately, we need to head to bed and then um, we'll try. We'll try on the next day. See what we can do. Let's go. Let's go. We're late. We gotta eat though, right? Because if our... Where's the door? If our food and water is too low then we don't get, uh, we won't get as much energy back. I think that's how it works. So we're gonna go into our inventory. We only have three cans of this aqua cola left. What's the negative five mean? I don't even know what that means. But let's drink all three of those. Um, Zed meat, I guess we can eat that. That doesn't really hurt me. Negative three health. It fills up my hunger. Oh, here we go. 20 hearts. Heaven's blessing. Redstone's a material. Is there anything that I can cook? Like, what's this? Five to my food. Oh, not very much. Oh, I'm turning more into a zombie. Oh, I see how this is working. I better stop doing that. I'm half zombie at this point. All right, I'm just going to go to bed. Let's see what happens. Uh, yeah, we're gonna sleep till morning. We need one more rat meat, and then, um, we can cook them up, and then we can go finish that quest. Ah, much better. Alright, out we go. We still got full, so I don't know how full, like, maybe it just can't be empty. Is that the thing? Alright, uh, one more rat meat. What's this? Uh, it's rotten rat meat. I need a live rat. <laughs> I need a live rat. Come on. Where's the rat at? Where's the rats at? Please tell me there's one just like right here. Oh, that Z meat was just hanging out from last. There's a couple rats, but they're running away from me. I just don't want to get into a thing with zombies. All right, there we go. That's my third rat meat, right? Let's grab that. Let's go back. Although if I can get one more rat, maybe I can get myself some. Uh, you know what? It's not worth it. <laughs> we can cook the rotten rat meat too, I think, right? And it's, it's edible. I don't know what it does to me. I don't know if it half turns me into a zombie. We're half a zombie right now. So I don't know how I reverse the impact of that. But 
All right, we're gonna craft uh, roasted rats, uh, and we're gonna craft three of them. And that's gonna take time and energy, I think. Oh, a little cutscene. Okay, roasted rat. And this one gives us 10 food, but turns us more into a zombie. We're already half zombified as it is. Ugh, man. I don't know how to reverse the effects of being half zombified. I ate all that stuff to get my health up, but maybe that was a silly thing for me to do. All right, we're just going to run through this area and head back and finish this quest. I don't feel like... Bring it. I don't really feel like fighting anything um, if I don't have to. There will be times when I need to fight things. And when those times come up, we'll fight things. But right now, oh boy. Here, boss. Hey. Hmm. All finished. <laughs> What's going on? Oh, this is the dude from the beginning. I was laying down on that thing and he was like creepily smiling around me. Well, 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 well looks like it's true. Once a crap hole, always a crap hole. If it were up to me, I'd wipe this place off the face of the earth, but I've got orders from Nebron. Looks like the, mu looks like the muscle heads as dumb as ever. To what do we owe the pleasure of this visit? This is a ziver prick Nebron captured slipped his leash and he wants him back. If you want to keep your insides inside you, I better be here and you've seen him. Hmm, Ziffer. Oh, I did see someone like that. Ha, ah, tell me where the heck he is. Head just outside the slums. You'll find all the zombies you ever want. Pick a favorite and you'll be good to go. You cocky piece of... Think you can make a fool out of me? Hmm, this place gives off its own stench. I'm out of here before any of us gets on me. Don't think you're off the hook. Payback's a butt. <laughs> Payback's a butt. That's what I'm going to say to that one. Ah, that's the guy who was Nebron. Vernon seems to know him. I need to get him to spill. Okay, well, I don't need to get him to spill. I mean, I do maybe at some point, but we're going to go finish this quest. And, um, let's see what's up. What's up, Vernon? I got your stuff, man. How you doing? Hey, man, you got some roasted rat meat for me? I do. Yes, complete the quest. Much appreciated. The kids will be real excited about the food. If you ever want to survive in this heck world, skills are downright essential. You're going to want to get make weapons and buildings and likes, so crafting is your best friend. Swing over to the skills page if you're stuck. There might be something you can slap together. Learn skills and find materials to craft things. Got it. There was actually something I wanted to ask you. The dumb-looking blonde guy earlier. Who was he? Oh, Brandon. Oh, don't mind that big, ugly lunk. Not worth the energy worrying about. Ah, right. Your reward. I'll be counting on you counting on you if anything else needs doing, my friend. Oh, yeah. And the zombie gramps was looking for you. Wouldn't shut up shouting about doing half zombie research or some such. Huh. Fine. Guess I should see what he wants. That old guy probably lives here forever. He might know something. All right. We got another quest. Oh, this guy's got another quest for us? It's He's yellow on the map, but I don't know if that means anything. All right. We're going down here to the old Mr. Gramps guy. Where are you at? All right, buddy. What do you got? What do you got, Gramps? You. Oh, oh, look who's finally showed up. You promised to assist with my research, and then you kept me waiting. The nerve on you. I don't remember agreeing to anything. Nah, details. We're wasting time. Let's begin our deep dive into the unexplored world of half zombie research. First, we need to learn what it might be, what it means to be half, and how you can both zombie and human at the same time. Stick out your arm. I need a blood sample. What the hell? My arm? What are you? Ow! <laughs> Maybe we'll figure out what that little mask thing means then. This should do nicely. I'll start performing some tests. Say, hey, wait, you can't just. Dang it! All right, he's gonna do some tests, and we're gonna see. We're going to see what we can do. You made me wait forever. Warn a person next time. Did you finally figure anything out? You bet your half zombie butt I did. Never underestimate the extent of my research power. Prowess. Prowess, boyo. It appears that both your human and zombie characteristics are currently at war within you, battling for dominance. Your powers distract, dr drastically change depending on the composition of the two of them inside you. Wait, they can do that? You'll hulk out with a strength boost to rip enemies to shreds the more zombie you become, but your defense will drop like a rock. So the time I was stronger in battle was because I was more zombie? Precisely. On the other hand, learning more human, being more, leaning more human will allow you to defend yourself better, but it will also sap your inhuman strength away. You'll need to maintain a healthy balance between the two to be at your best during fights. Power boosts and the like are possible by giving your zombie blood free reign. It's just a thing you can, you can do to give an edge. 
but keep an eye on it. Letting yourself go too far has likely outcomes of you scarring the locals and being attacked. And we are Habsy, so here we go. This is what I was looking for. Balancing the scales. Drifting too human or too zombie has its share of drawbacks. Low zombie energy causes your max HP to drop and bars you from using zombie actions. Too much zombie energy and you'll stumble around like an undead and, unable, and you'll be unable to talk to people. Using special attacks will drain a large portion of your zombie energy. You can adjust the level on the zombie scale by resting in bed or eating food. Resting in bed will reset your zombie scale. Eating normal food will make you more human and zombie food will make you more zombie. Unlock cooking and zombie cooking skills to increase your repertoire of recipes and allow you to adjust your zombie scale as you see fit. Alright. Guessing I should use some kind of items to adjust the balance then. Right, you are. Speaking of, did you know they sell Haven's Blessings at the shop? You should see if some combining one with some zombie flesh does anything. Heaven's Blessing? Got it. Ziver, got Ziver Chunks in your ears? Mix a bit of Z-meat with one of those and it should create a concoction that'll get the zombie in you raring to life, so to speak. Something like that could be called an undead energy drink. Get it? Granted, it'll zombie you up more, but that's the price you'll have to pay. Finally, something useful. Just head on over to the crafting table and select Zombie Craft to see all the things you can use to make z using zombie materials. Sure, I'll go test it out. All right, craft for your half zombie. All right, learn the first aid skill. So let's go into our menu, head on over to skills, and um, tough guy, good to the last drop, undead till you come. Where is that going to be? Minimalist, zombie farmer. Uh, no entry allowed. Here we go. First aid. We're gonna learn that one. Alright, craft some end undead energy drinks. We don't have enough of those uh, bottle things. So where is the shop? Can we go, can we figure out on the map where a shop is? Okay, here we go. Uh, the good life. Oh, it has open and close dates. Interesting. I mean, that's where we want to go, though, but I wish those icons showed up on the map. That would be so handy, right? Instead of hopping back and forth. So this is the shop right here. Let's examine. They're closed. Guess I'll have to come back later. What day is it today? It's Thursday. Oh, okay. Does anybody else maybe sell stuff like that? It doesn't look like it, eh? This uh, moving around is really difficult. It's, it's not snappy. It's like on a grid. Woodstock Market sells lumber and cloth. That's not helpful. What about this? Uh, sells metal and ores. Also not helpful. Mission board. Uh, I mean, I can go check out the mission board. So the mission board pops up. Oh, the, I guess there are icons. Maybe there's no icon because it's closed. All right, got to make everything we can to survive out here. Of course it works. Okay, so we got some missions here. Can we just accept them all? Materials needed. We accepted that one. Pied Piper of Death. Oh, we can only do one at a time. Uh, obtain soil. Hmm. Uh, I mean, we'll just keep this one for now. I'm going to head back to our home because we need to sleep, come back, get the thing. I, I can craft a couple of these drinks, uh, just not enough. I think rat meat would be considered human food, right? I'm probably not crazy on that front. All right, get out of here. Oh, look at the zombies just following me. You can just see the red. You can just see the red following me. That's awesome. All right, back to base. Back to base. Um... Where can I get some soil from? Till? Do I get soil from doing that? Oh, I thought maybe I'd get some soil. <laughs> I don't. Uh, let's go back into our skills menu, though. There's something about farming. Although, I don't think I can do these. Oh, I can. All right. Um, farming. Farming in the end times. Learn how to craft a field. Learn how to craft a storage shed. Sure, we'll learn that one. Um, but that's... A, I don't think a field... What's a place of I can craft a fence? I mean, sure, we'll learn about fences. Oh, what's this? Uh, learn how to cook roasted tomatoes and roasted pumpkin. Alright, let's check this crafting thing out. Let's go here. 
All right, so we're gonna go, so there's craft and then zombie craft and we can make these undead energy drinks. Thing is, I can only make two because I only have two bottles of that heaven's blessing. So we'll craft this up. Can we skip this somehow? Yes, you can press the plus button to skip that. All right, we got some undead energy drinks, uh, but we don't have enough. So it's only one o'clock, uh, but we're gonna go to bed. And um, I could probably do more with the day, but Wiped. it is what it is. It is what it is. All right, we're up. Uh, much better. So you can see our energy is very low because of how zombified we are. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try cooking a rat. And I got to assume rat meat is not zombie food. I'm going to assume. I, I, I don't know if I'm right. I can make some charcoal. Nice. I don't know if I'm right, uh, but... Let's make this rat meat. I wish you could skip these little cutscenes before you got into them. Roasted rat. All right, I don't have any more rats. Okay, so now let's go here and see what roasted rat does. It does a negative five to your zombie. So let's eat the roasted rat. And it did make me less zombie. Okay. Interesting stuff. Maybe worth it. Uh, let's head back into town and go visit that shop and buy ourselves a... What did we call it? The Blessing? Something Blessing? I don't really remember. I want to kill some more rats, though. Take this. I want to kill rats without having to fight zombies. Is that too much to ask? Apparently it is. Bring it. Take this. Oh, I'm out of here. I don't need this right now. I do want you though. There we go. That's one. It's rat meat, and then let's Who's take next? this guy down. Come here, you stupid rat. What's the matter? That way, I at least I can get some normal human food into me and make me more of a human, give me more energy. Because the thing is, is I can't do as much work, right? I can only no do mercy. so much um, as a as a as a zombie. My energy is very low. Okay, so there are icons on the map. The, they don't show up if the shop's closed, which is actually kind of handy. Then you kind of know when stuff's closed, and I think that's actually helpful. Okay, let's go. Uh, we got the lowest prices around guaranteed. Feel free to check things out. I want to buy. I want to buy some Heaven's Blessing. Confirm. Uh, we have 2,000 credits. Let's just buy like five of them. Yes. I can also buy some rat meat, but... Okay. We're done. Let's, um, we're gonna head back home. And I wish there was a crafting, is there a crafting bench in here? Because that would be super handy. That's another shop. Dead rat. I don't know. I don't think there's a crafting bench here. Let's run home. Um, all right, these guys killed some zombies. Nice. Good work, man. I get this rat before these zombies get me. The zombies come slow and then they get faster and faster and faster. But it's, I know how to get through this area now. It's like straight running. We're done. It's not a big deal. Gotta Any more rats? Drink. Oh, shoot. Uh, we need some water. Um, okay. We're critically low on water. Critically low on water. Oh, okay. Um, what do we got for water? Oh, I've got some more of this aqua cola. This makes me more zombie or no, it makes me less zombie. Okay. That's good. Let's drink two of those. Where do I get that aqua cola from? Is this aqua cola? I thought this was sludge. That's sludge. Uh, where am I getting the aqua cola from? Not in here, right? That's sludge too. As is this. I don't know. Anyway go here let's craft items and then again heading over to zombie craft and we're gonna make not enough materials oh, i don't have any z meat Ugh. okay um let's craft some roasted and we're gonna make three of those yes please all right we're gonna get some roasted rat that's gonna be helpful let's do that this is turning into a much longer premiere than i thought it would be all right roasted rat good 
Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Where are we heading? To get some, to destroy some zombies. Although my energy is very low. We might have to uh, harness our zombie ability here. Um, there's only two here, so these guys are easy to pick off. Let's just put these guys down. Maybe we can get Z-Meat right here. Ooh, no. Get down! Like, seriously. Get down. Stay down. There we go. Alright. We got the Z-Meat. How do I get soil? I'm very curious to know how I get soil. Also wondering if... Um, I'm also wondering if my energy goes... Excuse me. My energy goes down when I... Run. It's possible. All right, zombie craft. Energy drink, craft. Yes. Yeah, this whole going into a menu thing, I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. All right, awesome. Undead energy drink, done. Done. So, we finished the quest. So... Oh, we have to show Zombie Gramps. We are so critically low on energy that, again, it's only 1 o'clock, but I don't see another option besides just going to bed. We're here. We're in our camp right now. Let's save quickly. Yes, please. To keep track of how long you've played. I think it does. Interesting enough. 54 minutes. Nice. All right, let's go to sleep. Sleep until morning. It'll be Saturday. I love the day thing. I think that's cool. That kind of harkens back to these other XC Marvelous games that we've played, right? Very cool. Very cool. All right, let's go. We're going to find Gramps. If I could find out where I got that good uh, Aqua stuff, though, that would be amazing. Because I think we could always use more of that. I got so much sludge, but the sludge is not good for me. Boosts my water, destroys my health, right? So, or destroys my hunger, I think, or my food. I don't know. Let's run. Let's get through here. We're going to see uh, Zombie Gramps or whatever his name Let's is. Go. Why can't I collect? Ugh, it's more sludge. Where did I get all that Aqua Cola from? I'm actually curious to know. All right, where is Gramps? Uh, let's take a right here. Towns are kind of cool. I like the top-down nature of the game. Interesting. Enjoy it. Reminds me of playing hours upon hours upon hours of, uh, what was it called? Deep Silver Games. Uh, Sacred 2? Was it called Sacred 2? I think it was called Sacred 2. I played so much of that game. So much and loved it. Oh, you again. Did you bring what I asked for? Excellent. As predicted, it seems to have all the medicinal properties I postulated. <laughs> My hypothesis was correct. It worked. Always make sure to have the healthy supply of that drink on hand, boy. Oh, pop out one of those babies anytime you feel yourself fading. My research would be majorly set back if you died. But remember, the more you take, the more like a zombie you'll become. Yeah. Message received. Can't do much of anything if I'm dead. All right. Research session over for today. I'll call you if I need anything, if anything pressing comes up. Hold it. I held up my end of the deal. Now it's your turn. Answer my questions. Been living here long? I suppose you could say that. It's been, uh, let's see, over a decade since I started conducting my research here. Perhaps even longer. You know, ways to get into the city then, besides the front door, that is? Hmm. <laughs> Why should I bother poking my nose into that whole mess? I don't do anything that could interfere with my research. Got, go bother Vernon if that's what you're after. He's the boss in these parts after all. Hmm. See him? Seriously? Alright. We're off to talk to Vernon again. So I think there's a lot you could do within this demo. I think I'm going to be clean, closing it out pretty soon. Just through these. I'm doing main quests. But you saw that quest board. There's a bunch of quests there you could do. There's a bunch of skills you can level up. So there's quite a bit of content here I think. Hey there, good uh, good time, and I want to ask you a favor. I'll do anything as long as I'm paid. Great, don't worry, I've got the money. A little birdie told me that the Bockers are about to make their move on the town. Those punks with the stupid red crap on their heads? Oh, good, you know them. That makes things easier. They've already, they've always wanted to take over the slums, and now it sounds like they're getting together to try it for real. I want you to give me a hand by heading to where they're going to meet up and wipe them out. Think you can handle it? No problem, this is more my style. Food delivery is not really my thing. That's what I like to hear. I marked a spot on your map for you. Good hunting. All right. I'll go take on these blockers. I don't care. Let's go. Let's get over there. Yeah, my my health is draining pretty darn quickly, actually. You can see the little green bar slowly... Oh, oh, this way. You can see the little green bar slowly going down. Like, you can see it just kind of... Blip, 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 blip. All right. Uh, blocker time. Who's next? Let's go. 
Let's do it. You guys ready? We're going to burst in there and take them for every last thing they... Wait, who the F are you? If you crap heads tear up the slums, I'll only cause problems for me. Oh, shoot. They hired some muscle. Come on, boys. Let's get them. A lot of swearing in this game. How do I do that move? There it is. I mean, that takes up... So that move actually takes up some of the zombie stuff. Oh, I'm on fire. That move takes up some of your zombie. You can see after I used it, I went more human, which is interesting. So doing that will take... Are those guys done? Okay, there we go. Oh, you know where I probably got that Aqua Cola from? From defeating humans. That's the last of them. Better let Vernon know I've done the job. Yeah, you did. Got some iron ore and stuff. All right, let's head back. So far, these quests have been pretty easy. But to be fair, I have been doing my utmost to avoid any kind of fights with zombies. Oh, my vision is lousy. Okay, I don't. So we're going to have to take the hit here. Uh, we're going to lose a little bit of health just to drink some water. Uh, and then we'll have to offset that somehow. We're becoming more human as we drink the sludge. Um, see, but now I need to get some health back. So let's have you drink a Heaven's Blessing. There we go. You got to watch those uh, things. And it's good that they give you a little bit of insight about, hey, you should probably do something about this meter. What's up, Vernon? Eh, I made it back in one piece, I see. Appreciate the help taking the trash out. That should help keep them from running wild for a while. Piece of cake. Got to get, got to scavenge some new gear, too. I got new gear? Glad to hear it. I'll hit you up if I need your specific type of expertise again. It's not much, but here's your pay. All right. Vernon, you got to help us get into the city, bro. You got to help us get into the city. What's happening? This is a long cutscene of some kind. Or... It's just a black screen. Oh, here we go. Cutscene time. Yo. Bakker's fucked up their attack on the... Yo, Bakker screwed up their attack on the slums, boss. Hmm, just proves they're just as much trash as the whole stinking cesspit of a town. Oh, and by the way, it looks like the that badass mother mm -hmm, who took the birds out is that escaped zombie dude that Mr. Nebron is making what? everyone look for. What? The dang zipper prick was there after all? Dang, they Move that sneaky guy. Me. Move your arses, Zed Meat. We got a zipper guy to catch in one poopy town to destroy. <laughs> But you sure about that, boss? Doesn't Mr. Nebron say something about not totally wiping out the slums? Quit yelling and get moving already. That guy's a creep, man. Brandon? Jeez, Louise. Is this going to be the end of my demo? Or how long is this demo? I mean, this has been pretty decent. I'm already an hour in. These uh, load windows. Yeah, okay. We can keep playing. Materials needed. All right. That's for a different quest. All right. Apparently, I picked up some new gear. Uh, iron fragments. Uh, so I got an axe equipped. I don't see new gear, though. He said I picked up new gear. I don't see it. I don't see it. All right. Uh, hey, hey there, half-zombie. I heard you were able to make nice with zombies and turn them into your minions. I'd love to see how you do it. Zombie minions? Oh, did I hear wrong or something? Gramps was telling me all about how half-zombies can create their own zombie allies. Dang it. How amazing would that be if it was true? The world's already fit to burst with zivers, which means you got armies of potential buds out there. So. Sounds too good gotcha. to be true. Maybe you have the power and you don't know it. You should probably head over to see Gramps either way. He was talking about wanting to do some research again. If you do have some crazy zipper minding control powers, come let me know. I want to see that for myself. Uh, it'd be a good way to get into some more muscle on my side. Maybe the old geezer knows something. All right. We're just running back and forth at this point. Let's head uh, over to Gramps. All right, let's see what Gramps knows. It's you. Fantastic, you're here. Vernon filled you in on the particulars, I assume. He mentioned something about zombie minions. What's that all about? Exactly what it sounds like, boy. Oh, my extensive research has led me to the conclusion that half zombies are able to freely control other zombies. Heck, they're practically Pied Pipers playing their little tunes to lead other zombies into battle. I've never been able to control another zombie before. Don't assume you can control an old corpse shambling about. It's got to be a zombie you create yourself. I've taken the liberty of naming these homemade zombie companions Frankies. I'm not going to end up being mauled the second they come to life, am I? Why don't Why don't you try it for yourself if you think I'm lying? You want more capable allies on your side, don't you? Well, yeah, dang it, fine. What do I have to do? Yeah, first we head to your place to begin the preparations. I'll go ahead and so we can start the process the moment you arrive. The heck, my place? Okay, this is weird. 
but looks like we're heading home. So back to our base. This is a decently long demo, guys, from your good friends at Exceeds and Marvelous. And I know you're watching me. You probably enjoyed some of that Story of Seasons content, some of that Rune Factory 5 content, all on the channel. Be sure to check it out. Uh, and now you get something a little bit different, yet with some of those same, like, ideas. You can craft, you can farm, you can have shops that have times and dates. I think the only thing missing at this point is, like, relationships. And who knows? It's possible we get that, too, at some point. I, I don't know. I don't know what they've got in store for this game. Check it out in May. Hopefully I can play it even more than I'm playing it now. All right, what's up, Al? Ah, oh, you really really did mean when you said you were coming over. How long did you intend to keep me waiting, boy? Oh, it's time to begin the Frankie experiment. We're going to need some Zed hearts and Ziv blood, so put some Sivers out of their pathetic misery. If you already have some on hand, even better. Just give me a shout once you have everything. You're making me get materials for your experiment. Way to be prepared. All right, well, we're not going to do that because our energy is so critically low that we're actually going to go to bed. Um... We're not very zombified, which means we can't pull off those sweet attacks. I do need to eat. Roasted rats. Uh, yeah, we need to eat. Um, let's just up that quite a bit. There we go. We're fully human now. Um, what's this here? Ziv blood. We got lots of Ziv blood. Do I have the hearts, though? I don't think I have the hearts. I used all the hearts. So let's gonna drink this, get some water in our bones, and then uh, we're going to head to... Oh, well, we got some energy now, so we can actually go. So right beside my human face, there's like a line through the zombie, which I think means there's no way for me to perform one of those zombie attacks at all. Like we're, we're no part of us is a zombie right now. No part of us is a zombie. All right. How many of these hearts do I need? I think I should probably be able to, let me see. I probably should be able to go here and change which quest I'm. Okay, no, we're right here. Uh, oh, I do have Zed Hearts. Okay. I didn't think I did. Apparently I do. I thought I only had two. Oh, well. <laughs> All right, Gramps, what you got for us? Very good. Looks like you gather everything. Next, we'll need a corpse to use as a, a bus, I think he said. Luckily, we have a willing test, sub test subject just over yonder. So go on, drag that lifeless body back here. List off everything you need from the start next time, old man. The corpse nearby will do for now, but as a rule of thumb, you can't just go grabbing any stiff you see willy-nilly and expect things to work out. Your choice will affect your Frankie's overall stats. If you want them to hold their own, pay attention to what weapons they were using before you turn them into a corpse. Frankie's will use the same weapons they used when alive. Now then, go and haul the body over here. Over this way. Alright, uh, where is this body? Here we go. Collect the corpse. And we're coming back. This game is very, uh, it's very different than stuff they've made, right? I mean, the same, similar aspects, but very different. Excellent, that should be everything we need. Now we can finally move on to the good part, constructing our Frankie. The first step is plainly obviously. Frankies need a Frankie seeding to sprout from. To be able to create one of your own, you'll need the zombie farmer skill. Since I'd like to hurry things along, I'll go ahead and teach it to you. First, we head to the crafting table. All right, we're gonna go do some more zombified stuff. Uh, craft Frankie sprouts through zombie craft. Bury a Frankie sprout in your field and watch it and water it with Ziff blood. Frankies are reliable allies who will fight alongside you in battle. That's kind of cool. A Frankie will have a different stats depending on the human used to make it. The strongest Frankies are created from corpses of the strongest humans. All right, good to know. All right, so we're here already in the crafting menu. Finally, the start of a new experiment. Press first use ZL to switch to the zombie craft page. Boom. Next, go ahead and select Avenge Average Frankie Sprout Craft. Then select the corpse you wish to use to create your Frankie. We're going to use this one. Um, all that's left is to put it all together. And voila, new minion in the making. All right, craft. Awesome. I'm excited to grow my own little zombie. All right, let's see what's up.
Okay, now that you've put all the pieces together, it's off to your field to bury the whole franken mess. But till the soil but till the soil before you bury them. If the ground's too hard, they won't even make it out and the whole thing will be for nothing. Once that's done, you must water them with Ziff blood for the next few days. Got that boyo? Ziff blood, not water. Keep the care schedule and they'll come to life and be ready for harvesting. And voila, faithful Frankie companion to direct as you please. Putting corpses in the ground wasn't what I thought it would happen here, though I guess there's what that's what you normally do with them anyways. What a Frankie able to do after it claws its way out? Nah, I wouldn't expect them to have the brain capacity for anything complex. They're mostly rotted already. But simple tasks and weapons support as a fight in a fight should be possible. Simple tasks and backup, huh? Not much in the way of a companion, are they? They are zombies after all. They don't do that much in the first place. Once your Frankie's been born, so to speak, go show it to Vernon. He seems very eager to hear more about them. Okay, I want to do more with this demo and I want to be able to play this more, but for the time being, we're going to close this off right here. If you want to see more of Deadcraft, let me know. Leave a comment down below. Put it in the chat. I would love to play more of this game with you guys. Maybe do a live stream instead of a premiere. Uh, but once again, guys, thank you for coming out. Check out this game from Xseed and Marvelous. It will be coming to Switch in May, at the end of May, I think, or mid-May. I don't really remember. There's a demo right now on the eShop. You can download it and play it. But until next time, guys, thanks for coming. And have a fantastic rest of your day. Goodbye.